Hey, I'm Chris Cuomo. Thank you for the company. I hope you enjoyed the celebration of America's independence. And I hope you give a nod to the fact that the rule for us, though, has to be interdependence. We have to care about one another. You've got to look at it through that lens no matter what's going on. And I know it's not easy. So let's take a look and tackle the big problem, okay? I don't have an answer for you about what's going to happen with Biden. I'll tell you this much. What you're seeing in the media is greatly hyped and exaggerated and well ahead of the actual process. I trust my reporting over the headlines 10 times out of 10. Does that mean it's not going to happen? No, it means we don't know. The question for me is, will the obstacle be the way for the Democrats? Meaning, will they take this period of challenge? And it is absolutely that. Biden's perceived diminishment is at an all-time urgency. Will they use it to shore up his candidacy or to move up? Point one, if you don't seem to care about this Biden drama, that's okay. You're not alone. It hasn't really penetrated the electorate yet. This is still just for the insiders and the opportunists on the left and the right. But, 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 what I just said changes by the middle or end of this week, beginning of next week, the latest. Why? Polling. It's going on like crazy right now. Everybody with money and interest is polling. What are they asking? Is Biden down more? Are people leaving Biden because they see him as infirm over the long haul? The spread between him and Trump is not enough. Is the spread a function of people leaving Biden? Next issue, Kamala Harris. My reporting confirms that her people, to the extent she has an operation, that they are definitely angling for the top spot. I believe that this is a huge concern for the Democrats. I do not know that Kamala Harris is an improvement from Biden. We need to know the latest polling about Harris, how people feel about her, her versus Biden, her versus Trump, her versus other named Democrats. You need the data. Yes, it's just polling. Yes, it's a snapshot of a moment in time, but we are at that moment. When the numbers come, this drama is either going to become full on or it will subside. So we're going to know soon how deep this is going to get. Next point. The media did not start this fire, but they are absolutely fanning the flames. Why? That's the job. This is real. So that's what they do. OK, that's what I'm doing. That's what we do. All right. Now, is any of the urgency worry that Biden can't beat Trump? Yeah, I do think that's some of it. I do think there are members of the media who believe Trump is a danger to the democracy and that a weak Biden is better than a poison Trump. Now, is any of it just riding a narrative to the extreme? Yes, and I am not doing that. I don't believe uh, most of the banners I see on cable TV. Proof. Have you noticed how the media is counting Democrats? Oh, now they're four. Oh, now they're five. Oh, now they're six and falsely qualifying the number and nature of them as being against Biden, the big four Democrats. I never heard of three of them. You know what I mean? These are the top ones. Oh, who are they? I mean, seriously, Nadler, okay. Seth Moy, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what does that mean? That's exaggerated, that's hyping. Well, for instance, you don't think the media, or even you, could find a dozen or more GOPers who want someone other than Trump? Of course you would. Of course. So see the game. All right. That's hyping it. That's to make it a story. That's to make it more real. The truth is enough. Banners on the bottom saying Biden rejects calls to suspend campaign from who? Who's making those calls? Twitter. It's not coming from the head of the party. It's not coming from the Senate leader. It's not coming from the House leader. It's not coming from his top donors. So where's it coming from? It may happen, but it's not happening now. You remember when Trump said to grab him by the beep line and headlines rang out that he had to go? Remember how hot it got? He stuck. He put out the only apology we've ever seen him put out. And it worked fine, right? Why? Moments pass. Momentum is something different. Moments, that's what he had with the video, pass. 
Momentum is different. What's the difference? If the women had come out then in a way that was believable by the base, if big Democrats start coming out now with data and money people, now you got a problem for Biden. Moments pass, momentum is different. We're going to find out soon which one of this is that we are in. Point three, if there becomes anything like a consensus to replace Biden, how? This is an open question. Ideas are coming. One of the best I've heard is from James Carville, and he's on right after me to explain. So that's, that's great, and it's worth you hearing it. Because it really becomes, I guess, about the convention. And the last time the Democrats had to figure it out late in the game that way was in 1968, and it was a mess. Uh, then President Lyndon Johnson bailed because of Vietnam and maybe his health, but he wasn't doing well. The convention had a riot outside and inside. They picked the VP who was weak, Humphrey, and got rolled by Nixon. Question, is Harris a Humphrey? We'll see when we get more polling. They'll get the first suggestion, okay? Point four, the real issue isn't whether Biden is okay right now. People are framing it that way. Well, you saw him at the debate. That's who he is. OK, yeah, he can't do the job. Well, clearly the job is getting done, right? The affairs of state are ongoing. This is about the future, the rate of diminishment. There seems to be a rate of diminishment that is more than expected, more than people are OK with. You look at him from when he started office to the Medicare brain freeze moment at the debate, he seems much less. We hear reports that a Parkinson specialist went to the White House multiple times. The numbers are all over the place. I don't, I don't care what the number is. It happened reportedly. They're not denying it. And it was multiple times. Biden won't take a cognitive test. And his press people. Now, the best thing that Biden has going for him against Trump is team versus team. And I'll explain more in a second. But that is not an absolute advantage for Biden, because this is the way his press secretary handled the Parkinson's question today. In regards to I the just, president wait, specifically. Hold on a Not second. You should be able to answer by this point. Wait, no, 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 no. No, wait a minute. I sure could clear this all up just by saying what he was doing here and if it was connected to the president, yes or no. I, I am not going to confirm the. the a, a particular neurologist, anybody. It doesn't matter if they're a dermatologist or a neurologist. I'm just not going to do that. I shared with all of you that the president has met, has been with the neurologist three times as it relates to his physical, three times. Remember how the Romans used to do that? That answer stinks, okay? Again, it's not about KJP. Karine Jean-Pierre, okay? Um, it's not about me knowing, not knowing, liking, not liking. Not getting the job done. If Biden is going to depend on his team, you need someone better in that position. If he's not going to take on the questions, if he's not going to make the case, you need somebody else. I'm not going to confirm or deny. That means this is a problem for us. OK, wait, 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 wait. You know what that is? No control. Why no control? No respect. Why no respect? No candor. Why no candor? No competence. OK, if he wants to depend on his team, you need better. It is not a personal attack at KJP. Don't cheapen the criticism. You need different skills, different take. A muscularity, male or female, is irrelevant to address the American people if you're going to be doing it basically as a proxy for the president. That won't cut it. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.